Hi girls, welcome back. My name is Jack Dorr and this is Two Point Hospital. So if you all remember from the last episode, we managed to finally complete our first hospital, Hogsport. Got all three stars, so now we are moving on to our second hospital, Lower Bollocks. I'm excited to see what this hospital has in star, and I'm, I'm thinking this time round, what we want to do is make an award winning hospital. How we, last time we got five out of the eight awards themselves. Let's see if we can go for all eight. So staff qualifications, welcome to Lower Bollocks. It's a, low, a lovely little village with a big problem. A significant proportion of this population believes themselves to be rock stars. I'm not sure if that's a bit of a problem. I might have to try to visit this place myself. There's only one thing that can cure this, psychiatry. So only doctors with a psychiatric qualification will be able to dis to diagnose and treat in the psychiatric room. We managed to find one, but you should keep an eye peeled for job applicants with psychiatry and other useful qualifications. I love what they've done already down here. Nice little waiting room. He's got a nice little GP's office right in the middle. He's got a lovely little picture. And it reminds me of a little beach shack. Right, let's get straight into this. Who have we got today? Who are you? Uh, you got Aurora, okay, lovely. And we've got a doctor who's got a lovely headset on him. Oh, sorry, on her, Emma. Emma, you've got a lovely hair on you. Right, let's have a look. Nice, oh, see how big this map is. Okay, so we've got this main room here. It looks like we can do expansions to the top, the sides. Fantastic, so we've got loads of room, 150,000, so we don't want to go crazy. But I did off screen unlock some things or coughs have got more bit more kudos on the career section because we started unlocking things which is always rather exciting anyway right let's crack on so rooms okay so any new we've got the psychiatry what we they just talked about but all other rooms look per pretty Next normal as what we had last the time will not be considered patients. so let's put the psychiatry room in. now i do like where that gp's office is but we need to make sure we're making room for expansion potentially around the back or even on the sides, maybe one here, so then we can kind of funnel patients through. So let's put him to the back, I think, for now. I think that's a good size. Put the door there, we'll get the lovely chair. We'll put the chair, I reckon. Actually, let's put the psychiatric couch there, so we can look out the window as he's talking to the doctor. And do we get the doctor to hide? No, we'll get the doctor to face him like that. What else should we put in here? Right, let's have a look. So we've got the bin as per normal. Put that by the door. You know the trend, guys. Recycling bin and fire extinguisher. Put a lovely plant. Put the plant there, I think. What else could we put in? I think we should put some, definitely need some pictures in here. Because I've mentioned we want to make this award winning. So I'm thinking we need to go for five stars all the way. Now we are losing money. And we've got someone in already. <gasps> so these are rock star patients. He's cracking, isn't he? Right, let's pause the game because we don't want him to get annoyed at us. Okay, so we've already put that in. We'll put the giant dog in, I think, because that would be a lovely thing for everyone to look at while they're being treated, don't you? Wouldn't you love to look at that little fluffy dog? It's one of those dogs that looks like it follows you wherever you go. Always staring. I wouldn't be surprised if there was a couple of eyes popped out in the hole at the back so people could watch in. Anyway, right, we'll put some more photos in. Now, is this like, again, I'm thinking back to Theme Hospital, where on there you spent up like a skeleton statue. Um, right, before we get there, though, we'll put the clock in. I think we should put the clock about... Can we squeeze him in there, maybe? Yes, so we can put the clock there, just so the doctor can see what the time is. Let's scroll. Oh, yes, we can. Right, let's get. Right, hold on. We've only got 690. I'm about to buy everything I could. Change the screen. That's only 50. I think that's quite nice. We could kind of hide that way at the back there. We'll get a lamp. Yeah, I think a lamp would be quite useful as well. Put that there. Actually, could we maybe put that in the other side, maybe? No, I think better. Put... Mm, what do you think? Can't really put it there, though, can we? We'll pull it there. What else can we do? Oh, we could do the hand sanitizer now. A nice, nice smelling sanitizer as well. A th 
furnace. Oh my goodness, there is so much stuff, isn't there? Coffee machines, what's that do? So it reduces thirst and give a caffeine buzz. Hmm. Guess that could go either way, couldn't it? It could be a really good thing or a really bad thing. There is a skeleton. He has 300 kudos, isn't he? Though he's quite expensive. What else can we do? Entertainment. Oh, he's, he's free. So I think we should put him in because he is free after all. It does look like he's under the window, doesn't it? We'll leave him there. Where else can we put him? A nice rug. I think a nice rug might be. Yeah, look at that. That's lovely. We can put that like that, I think. Can we put the doctor in a little bit? There we go. Right, we've got 300. Oh, you know what? I am really tempted by that fireplace. So I think we should get it. There is it. There it was. It was near the top as well, so it makes sense. Oh, that's giving me a brilliant idea, actually. What we could do is we could put... Right, you... Can move out of the way. You now can face the fireplace. You can sit there listening. We'll put the rug that way round. The lamp can go. Hmm. Put the lamp. Put the lamp there, maybe. Yeah. What we'll do is move the door over here. So they walk in, they can get themselves changed, and then they can move over here. Right, perfect, beautiful. Okay, what other things we put in? A chair for any spectators, perfect. What star rating are we? One, three. We can get it up a bit higher, I think. Everyone loves the ducks, so I'll put the ducks in. Some drawings. Put drawings back here, so when they get changed, it's like they're looking at the, the pictures of the drawings. Well, well, all the children are done for them. Uh, we'll put the food pyramid one in. It's a bit basic. Uh, we'll put you there then. And finally, you know, no pole maybe. A lion's head. That's ginormous. Might be a bit too big to be honest. Yeah, a bit too big. Hat stand. There we go. That'll do. Right. Move you up. Hat stand in. Maybe one more plan. Maybe one more plan. One more plan. Beautiful. Ooh, level four. I think that looks marvellous. Right, play. Okay, because we only have got one doctor at the minute. Anyway, new technology. So we've been contacted by Bungle Technologies, who run various research hospitals across the county. They've been an interesting proposition for us. Their psychiatric license was recently revoked, dear, due to an incident with. Well, it's best not to go into it. I wonder what they've been doing. They want us to send us um, psychiatry patients and exchange will allow us to buy some of their latest technology. Yeah, but if they're... That could be quite bad, couldn't it? Mm. Anyway, until our organisation requires a research licence, we need all the technology we can get our hands on. Okay. Okay, so we've got to get it to level 3. And we've got to cure a patient in psychiatry. We've got one GP. I think we need to get another one. Oh, there's another one gets toilet rage, gets angry when they need to go to the toilet, oh dear, he's motivated as well, oh, no. before he goes away, what's our current doctor like, you're good at diagnostics and psychiatry, okay, he's really good at diagnostics isn't he, oh Lucille, Lucille, right, she's oh, stupid, mm. they are cheap and gets toilet rage, you're good at treatment, Oh, let's that go to you. Oh. Yep, there you go. Uh -huh. And let's get a couple of benches in. Just for the time being. Ooh, have a little chat. Uh -huh. Oh, there we go. We've done our first cure. Fantastic. Good start. That's what we like to see. Okay, we need to keep working on our hospital. We need to get it to level three. So let's put, I reckon, could we copy you and put you at the back? But that does mean I have to walk all the way around to the other GPs, doesn't it? Hmm. No, let's, let's move it, I think. Let's do another one. I'm really tempted to move it over here, to be honest. We could just put another one over here, to be fair, couldn't we? 
you do kind of follow the same trend like that, couldn't we? I think that looks pretty good actually. Right, let's work with that then. So we've got the door. Wait. Oh. Well, at least I didn't die. That's that's a, that's positive. Because remember, we want to try and get all of them this time around. We want to try and get all eight awards in this hospital. That is the challenge we're going to set ourselves. Put a couple of windows in. Right, we're getting bin. Put our standard things we always need to put in. Plan by the windows. There we go. Put the hat stand in. Beautiful. I think we should put the a 45th caller today will win tickets to the rock festival taking place put next month. I admire our station manager's optimism. The most callers we've ever had in a day was four six. Least, Two of them were wrong three. number. And it's clock. We'll put a clock again by the window and the door. Let's put a bit of dressing behind. It's not going to fit, I don't think. We'll put a spare chair in. Patients are asked to pay without thinking. Lung capacitor, I think that might be quite useful, couldn't it? Because they could try it out. Why wait in the GP? You never know. They might say, look, I need you to try it out and understand how effective your lungs are. Right, we've got loads of things going on. We need a ward and we need a pharmacy. Right, let's focus on getting them done after we finish the GPs. Put a little plant, I think space over here. Yeah, put a little plant there. I can't afford that yet. Oh, we've got these ones. They're a bit more modern weighing scales, aren't they? Should we put these ones in? Yeah, why not? Why not? Let's put them about there. I kind of want to put something in that corner. Oh, a pattern green. You know what that doctor could be doing, couldn't you? Make sour by the hour. Juices hunger. Okay. These are all quite fancy. The big bin. Okay. Sweet dispenser. That might be useful for the kids. I do I haven't seen any kids yet. Or for the adults. Everyone likes sweets. Anything else we could put in? A singing fish, that reminds me of um was it I swear there was a singing fish called Bob. I could be barking mad thinking about that, but that's what I do reflect on anyway. A shark art. There are so many things in this. Right, let's go back to the top and work out things we can actually put in. Because we don't want it to be crazy, but we do want it to be nice. We haven't got any photos in it yet, have we? No. Right. Everyone likes the Jasmine Odyssey photo. As he's a GP, he's breaking up quite a lot of photos of things in here, isn't he? Poster. We'll put the light-headed poster in. Where could we put it? Put that there. Food diagram. Put him up there. There we go. Level four. That will do, I think. Okay, so that's done. So we need to get a ward done, and we need to get the pharmacy. Now I am thinking. I'm tempted to move it over here just to create a bit more space. Let's do that. Let's move it. Let's edit it. And move, thank you. It's kind of a bit too big, isn't it? Let's put you there. Move you just for a time being there. And get rid of you two. Now I'm going to move you back. There we go. You can go, thank you. And you can go. Put you there. What's it going to try and sell? I have a window. Try and sell that window. Well, isn't it? Even though there is clearly a window still behind. Anyway, right, I think that looks okay. We've got these weight scales we could put in this one. Have we got any weight scales in this one? No, so we'll put that in. And let's him up to a level three. It's got a couple of plants, so that's pretty good. Uh, where's that rug? A rug is always needed for the GP. It's just so they've got something nice for their feet. You never know, they might just have slippers on underneath. Might even take the slippers off. Right, put that there. Bit of an odd shape that really though, isn't it? Let's hold on, hold on. Let's fill that gap in. Move that window to there. Beautiful. 
There we go. That looks good. We'll move you to over here. Move you to there. Move you to there. Lovely. There we go. So see how, see how it starts to flow around the hospital. Okay, now what do we need? We need an award. What do they want? They want a pharmacy for verbal diarrhea. So the di this disease people can't stop talking about. It makes sense. Verbal diarrhea spreads fast and can be heard for miles. It makes sense as well. The patient is seeking treatment and will need a pharmacy. Okay, wait. And we need someone for lazy bones. So skeletal fatigue caused by a lack of calcium in the diet. Upon diagnosis, the patient should be immediately rushed to a ward when they must sleep for several days or be fed milk and cookies by a nurse. That was quite cool. Um, the patient is seeking treatment and will need a ward. Okay, you can wait as well. So, those are both in. So we can go straight. We do need, say, like a general diagnosis at some point. And I'm thinking maybe that might go in the middle. So what I'm thinking is we get the pharmacy. Or do we put the pharmacy right in the middle? Hmm. Or do we put it over here? We've got a nice little waiting room area, don't we? How about if we were to move it like that? Yeah, there we go. Put a door there. Put that there. Filing cabinets. Let's put two in for this one. Let's be crazy. Recycling. And a bin. And a plant by the window. So it gets all that lovely sunshine. What poster should we put in here? Food pyramid. It's like we're trying to tell everyone you need to try to be healthy. And get the clock. Lovely. Should we get a little bit of wall dressing for this one? I think we should. Here we go. And we get a chair. I really want that medicine cabinet. Now I see it, I kind of wish we saved some of the kudosh. Well, I say we. I should have saved some of the kudosh. It might have been quite useful. We'll put a chair in. Here we go. Right, that's that done. And we need a nurse there as well. I appreciate I have got it paused still, but I think that's important so we don't lose anyone. Right, we'll go for you, I think. High energy and never inhaled. Perfect. You're hired. Okay, and we've got the drug mixer. Two's been unlocked. Fantastic. Right, and we needed a ward, didn't we? Hmm, what should we put this ward? There's a door there, so we can't really block that off. We've got all this space in the centre, haven't we? Should we put it in the centre then? that maybe because I reckon we've still got room there if we wanted to get another uh, another room or of some sort got a nice corridor down here yeah I think that'll work I'm not sure how big it's gonna need to be but it's gonna be quite a small one this now try and make this as a definitely efficient right one there one there one there okay can't put that can we put that there yeah. And one there. There we go. That is it's quite a small ward. Put a lock. We'll put a couple of lockers in there. Put I don't think we can fit much else in to be honest, can we? Can we put whale scales in anywhere? Put that there. Oh, we can't even fit a bin. Squeeze you in there, maybe? Yes. Definitely need a fire extinguisher somewhere, don't we? Um, or not. It's only level two. We've got to try and get this level up. No plants in here either. My goodness. It's very cramped, this one, isn't it? I think it's going to work quite well. I'm tempted to get rid of that. We'll put lovely plant in and we'll put which we put in this one put the 8-bit poster in there. So basically what we want to try and do is put as many posters in as possible because it all adds to the prestige for the room so we do want to make it look the part ideally as well just to make sure it all fits quite nicely uh, we'll put the drawings in because that could be drawings of people who are 
drawing when they're leaving. Or they could be, look at that, we could put it next to the bed so we can just add to the drawing. It's like whoever says that adds to the drawing each time they're here. Put the clock in. Can it go anywhere around here, maybe? Squeezed in, just about. And we've got a bit of space over here now, haven't we? What do we put over here? Entertainment? Yeah, a bit of entertainment for everybody. And can we squeeze you in slightly? Can we squeeze this recycling bin in? There we go. Fantastic. I know it's a bit tight, but I think it works. New technology. Bungle Technology has given us access to some of the latest technology. A pharmacy drug mixer upgrade. Oh, thank you. And a general diagnosis EZ scan machine upgrade. Even better. If we buy these um, farm machines, they will become more powerful, helping us diagnose and cure more patients. Okay. So to upgrade a machine, we'll need a janitor to a machine uh, mechanic sorry, qualification. Select the machine and choose the upgrade option. A qualified janitor will then upgrade the machine over time. Okay. Give it a try. Okay, fantastic. So we need a janitor. I don't think we've got any janitors, haven't we? Are you a janitor? You are a janitor. What can you do? Oh, you've got the mechanics ready. Brilliant. Oh, great. Perfect. That's simple. Okay, we've got a nurse in there. Pharmacy. Calling nurse. Yeah, well, at the minute they're a bit busy. Uh, okay, so machines can be upgraded to make them more efficient. An upgraded diagnostics machine gives bigger boost to the patient's diagnostics, uh, diagnosis. An upgraded treatment machine is more likely to successfully cure patients. Okay, perfect. So, upgrades to each machine can be acquired through completing challenges and eventually through our own research. Okay, so once we've unlocked an upgrade, we'll need a janitor to train the mechanics to upgrade each machine. To upgrade a machine, select it. Yep, we have just done that. Thank you, game. Someone else, who are you? Where are you waiting for? Point one to pharmacy. We use, they're currently a bit busy in there. Right, what else could we get? I don't think we need anything else really, do we? Oh, we haven't got toilets, have we? Uh, where can we put the toilets? I reckon we could probably put the toilets in there. Maybe a little toilet and a little staff room. Just to get them by for now. Maybe not that big. One smaller, there we go. Let's put the door in, and now we've got the golden toilet, so these are going in. We'll put three in. Oh, that made the prestige go pretty quick, didn't it? We'll put a sink in there. Hand dry, can we do the same on the other side? Maintenance announcement, plants need water. Yes, we can. Now, I appreciate Need a fire extinguisher? No, don't think that's going to fit. I oh, know we can go there. Will we fit a plant in here though? There we go. Lovely little toilets. Right, that's that room done. Next, we need to get a star from, I think, don't we? Put a star from over here, couldn't we? There we go. Oh, oh no. Well, we're not going to get the old. Well, this time now, late this year, but next year I have hope. Disappointing. Very disappointed in you. Okay, so let's get the staff and let's focus back on this. So we'll get a chair there, sofa there, even. And you know what? Let's get that there. And that there. There we go. It's like a little corner they can all chill in. Get a drinks machine. And snack machine. I just heard someone else die, I think. Or was that the same person? Are you a ghost? Find out in a second, I guess. Great, the machine upgrade is complete. Make sure you've got a few fire extinguishers we have dotted around to keep the present machine safe, okay? So Bungle Technologies are grateful for the continued support uh, with their psychiatry patients and given us access to one of their machines, the extractor pan. Um, this high-tech gadget is great for removal of unwanted kitchen utensils. Look out for people in need of this. I'm trying to think when they've got these kitchen utensils. Um, ooh. Um, continue expanding the hospital to unlock some more technologies. 
find another plot of land nearby will give us more space. Aha, yeah, we did see that game. Have they turned into a ghost? I think we're safe. Okay, let's finish building. Let's put a couple of windows for the staff room. You never actually get to see the staff rooms anywhere, do you? You always think, I remember, again, being small, we used to think staff rooms at school. I bet they were brilliant. And then you actually went, managed to see it one day and it was nothing special. But everyone always used to think, oh, what would they have in their arcades and Do you ever feel like someone's watching? Yes. So I think this one, we should try and do just that. We should make it. Ah, it's a bit big, isn't it? Okay, this one's going to be, I think, just a nice, cosy, I think. Put that there in the window. Or not. Why can't I put you there? Try again. There we go. Maybe we just need a little bit more room to walk around. Get a hat stand. Get the hat stand. Why is there. it whenever you clip your nails in Give front of a computer, three. one of the nails always flies into the cracks of your keyboard? Does the keyboard feed on them? I don't know. You know what he needs? No one he needs to clean his keyboard, doesn't he? One of those little like hair dryer kind of things for him, like a little um, what are they called? Like little fans. Do a degree, or you could just tip it upside down. That'd be the easiest thing to clean it, wouldn't it? Get all the rubbish out from underneath. Okay, right. Where were we? Put that there. And I think right, it's level three, so I think that'll do for now. Okay, so. Construct new buildings so we can construct a new hospital building by purchasing plots of lands nearby. Take a look around the hospital grounds, hover over nearby plots to see the size and shape. Okay. To build that as a big old queue at the front. To buy a plot, kick click on it and choose the purchase option. A new building will then be constructed over time. Okay. So once a new building is complete, you can use the extra space to expand the hospital and we can move existing rooms between them. Okay. A new illness of bog warts. So rather than discussing skin condition caused by feel for oh, we, we know about this one already. Told us about this last time. Okay. I think we need a general diagnostics really, don't we? Bins will become full. Let's put the general diagnostics in. Because as I just said, we can always move things around, can't we? So, put you there. Put you by the window. So everyone walking by can have a right good stare in. Um or let's put it that way so you can look out the window F couple filing cabinets in weighing scales put bin nice so, it's going on. In board. so it's definitely going on uh, fire extinguisher plant there and I think plant in this corner um, I don't think that's really needed eye test picture there because then they can literally look at the eye test as they're there Food pyramid, we'll put that there. Because what they can then do is they can feel ashamed stepping on the scales and looking at the food pyramid. Um, we'll put a couple of other posters over here, I think. That's lovely. Jasmine Odyssey one, put that there. Clop. Over here. And I think that'll do. Right. So we need a pans lamp. So we've got pandemic is a new illness. So involuntary attachment of kitchen utensils caused by an extremely low level of cutlery skill. A pan must be carefully removed with a massive magnet. The patient is seeking treatment and we'll need a pans lamp. Okay, so get patient to wait. And Emma, what do you want? Emma has a request for us. What do you think? I'm not usually one for suggestions, but the other day I had a great idea can't stop thinking about it what if you were to like cure some people wouldn't that be cool i think emma if you're only just thinking about curing people you might be in the wrong job i dread to think what you have been doing over the time before also your picture's quite scary it looks like you're pretty much leaning into the screen all right to cure 10 patients within 90 days yeah we can do that and we need a pans lab okay wait don't think we've got room in here which one should we buy? It's quite a small, oh, that's quite a big one actually. 50,000. Buy this one, it's only 25. How, how much was that one? Yeah, that 
expensive. And we got uh, Porter Shed. So Porter Shed affects both body and mind. Once there had to be caused by proximity to sea air, is now known to be chiefly caused by living in Porter Shed. <laughs> we'll send a patient in the ward. Okay. And yet we need a pan lab. You can wait as well. So we've got three people now waiting for a pan's lab. Well, you're going to have to wait a little bit longer because we're waiting for our building to be done in 13 days. And this is going to get us to the one star hospital anyway because it's going to get us to own two buildings and we've got three patients there let's have a look at them you've got literally a pan on your head love yeah and you too i don't know how you can even see where you're going to be honest it's not like they can have jewels so they run at each other with see who knocks the other pan off first let's put some lovely things around okay so we've got salt machine and put the drinks machine next to it because if they get thirsty by drinking the, or eating the snorty sacks they can buy yourself a drink it makes us more money way hey. put a few bins around i think because i don't think we've got one put one there put one there um we can put the leaflet stands in just to keep them entertained there we go couple of magazine racks as well one there I think and uh, we could always put one put one there yeah lovely and uh, maybe we could put one there as well even better oh it's quite dire isn't it right let's make this a little bit more lovely put one of them there put one by the door to take away the smell of the toilets coming out there as well maybe even put a couple by that door one that look it's gorgeous look how green this is going now and that looks marvelous what do you think oh this room's done okay focus back on to what we need what do we need we need the pan's lab now, how big does this need to be three four Have a snack. four we'll be right back let's pause it because i think people are like either leaving or dying not got much time has he not sure what happens when it gets to zero does he die or do they leave i literally don't know but let's just put this in now just to make sure we get it underway okay so door and some windows one there one there and one there oh, this doesn't look very nice does it looks so which side does the patient be on this looks like the doctor side because of the the tools and the buttons and the red and green i'm assuming those clamps is literally where the patient's going to stand okay so let's put it there right i think we're definitely going to need a fire extinguisher in here and 100 percent plants has to still be a lovely room and what else can we put in here we put a clock in here yeah some ducks. Yeah, make it look like they're flying. Actually, let's put it there because they can fly towards the window. Should we put some wall dressings in? Let's put it on this wall. One, two, three, and four. And finally, a chair for again spectators. Can't again afford anything else for night. Unless there's anything unlocked down here, what we could fit in. I don't think we need air con. Should we get oh should we get a new plant a yucca this is mm. okay let's get it yeah let's get rid of you and put you in instead and put that there as well wait why is that red there we go pan's lab done how many doctors have we got why do people keep dying who have we got like a curse against us every hostel we're in someone dies i thought you were good wait where's my ward person you're supposed to be in here i thought we had how many nurses have we got ah okay Let, let's go plants need you. water well done you're in staff promotion who are you tell me wait Okay, you're a janitor. You're okay. Let's hire. Let's make you happy. 
make you super happy. And we need the deluxe clinic for lightheadedness. Okay, well this could be like our little treatment area, couldn't it? Because we've got the pans lab. And we get the deluxe next to it. Put it like that. How many space I leave over here? One, two, okay, three. So we could put like a little toilets or something in there. Or we could we could move it back. Move that door and this could be like a little waiting room. Hmm. That's quite a good idea, I think. Right. You can dead center so you can at least focus on what you're doing. You have no deaths, please. Recycle bin. And a fire extinguisher. Okay, our new plants. Whoa. What happened there? My goodness, did oh it worked. That, that works. It, as long as it works. That's um. I'm not sure if I'd use it, but it works. Okay, let's get a couple of posters in here. We'll get definitely the lightheadedness one in here. Maybe we can put it on the outside the lightheadedness. Is it the same thing every time? Actually, that one works quite well, doesn't it? Lovely. Uh, right, level three done. Did say we were going to get a couple of benches out here, didn't we? Deluxe clinic calling doctor. So one, two, three, four. I, I appreciate it. We'll, we'll get it in line. We'll get it in line. The hit album Salvation features unmissable singles like Oh No, Not Again. Oh No, Not Again. And ain't no feeling like the feeling I feel when I'm feeling feelings. Don't surprise me, these songs are probably real somewhere. Okay, so. Stream Jasmine Odyssey today on poster? Bungle Music. You search for it. Right. There we go, let's put that up. Ah. Make it look like a little waiting room, doesn't it? Okay, so we'll, how, wait, how many doctors have we got? We've got two doctors. I think we need more than two doctors. Have we got anyone who's good at treatment? You're good at treatment and you're a GP. You're good at treatment, you're good at diagnosis. That probably makes sense getting you, doesn't it? You are cheaper. Likes to argue. Dirty makes the hospital dirty. You argue, no, we don't you? Natural mentor, hired. Okay, so we've got a reporter is coming to visit. So report from Two Point Radio. Sally, um, a fig blanket, is in the area to investigate claims of cream pie poison at the Sucre de Farfret. Probably pronounced that horrendously wrong. She's asked if she can stop by to do a story on our store. Okay, yeah, impress her. Yeah, and we can get a bit of rep and a bit of kudos. Okay, perfect. And we've got someone mock start. Let's do it. Okay, we're getting quite close to getting our first one star, so I think we should be able to get that done today. So we've got them in. We could probably get, I reckon. That's quite a nice little area. I think Reporter we should put from a Two Point Radio has arrived. Drinks machine in again. Put that there, yeah. And we'll get a snacks machine in. We'll put you there. Oh no. I've had another death. Oh dear, Rich. You know what I think we should do? Um, did we do it? No, we didn't do it. Sorry, Emma. It's cool. probably your fault. But let's, I think. Uh, visitation mode. So, view the world from state of the art hospital administration goggles designed by Bungle Technologies. These high tech spectacles use advanced optic sensors and pertinent privacy invasion algorithm to analyze the state of people and items with field of view. Through careful calibration, scientists have been able to harness the power of this extraordinary invention to detect things such as how much someone needs a toilet or how much they want. Packet Chris, inspiring stuff. Use a visitation mode to analyze the state of the hospital environment. Okay, fantastic. Not what I wanted. Finance. This, I think, is what we want. Is this what we want? I was going to look for something. Can't remember what it was now. I've been reading all these things and I've totally lost track. So, in the finance tab, you can access the business overview screen 
for a deep dive in all aspects of the hospital. You can also adjust the prices you charge in the hospital and take out loan for more cash. Okay, what do we need? That's what I wanted. Staff list. I think this is what I wanted. Janitors. Okay, perfect. Let's have a look. So we got attractiveness. So we need to get the hospital level up. We probably need to make it more attractive in places, don't we? Let's have a look at other items. You're we listening have. to Nigel Vickleworth. Let's put arcade in. On two point okay. radio. Welcome back to your favourite radio area, station really. with the vastly overqualified right. Sir Nigel Bickleworth. I'm here to inform, to entertain, and to bring some small measure right, of sophistication to your drab little lives. Anyone Should any of you have pig? any requests for popular tunes, as I believe Could people like to call them, yeah. do not hesitate to repress that impulse. I have no intention of playing any of that drivel. The a couple of posts and walls over here. There we go, that's good. We'll do, yeah, the coin drops, we need these, don't we? Coin drop there. And we'll put one. We'll see if we can squeeze him in there as well. Lovely. We need to keep getting our hostel level up. Right, let's put a clock in the waiting room. Perfect. Put one over here. Perfect. Or in somewhere. There we go. I think we should be able to upgrade that as well. Because that should help the actual level itself. Okay, that looks good. Um, we've got enough bins around, haven't we? Maintenance announcement. Automated snack machines. Always put music. This is the new thing we unlocked from the last hospital. We put you. We put you over here. There we go. And we get some magazines over here as well. There we go. And plant that. Pretty good. I reckon we could probably start expanding this a little bit further. What do you think? Wait, where's our doctor gone? Where are you going? I think you need to go to toilet. Are there any other doctors who can do. Something like any other doctor? No, we've only got one psychiatric doctor. Okay, appreciate your work for peanuts, so you're in. We need to get these people cured because we've got a little bit of time still, but we need to get them done. Let's start expanding out. I think we could probably copy that and put it there. Or should we actually, you know what, we'll cancel that. Because I've got a good feeling we could probably get a good staff in there. Yes, we can. Look at that. Put the door there. This is a sneaky one. Up there. Like that. It's like they're all talking in a little circle, isn't it? Right, drinks machines. Everything's going on. We'll get the out. I think we should get out running here. There we go. And we'll get a plant by that window. And we'll put that window. Put that plant in that corner. Hat stand by the door. Holistics is apparently going to there. open another of its sort of nature do, communes for sick people with more sense than or money. Fossil. Fortunately, I have equal amounts of sense and money. There we go. One star hospital. So dear hospital administrator, congratulations, your hospital has been awarded a one star rating by the Two Point Health Ministry. Like lightning, you have made a, a, a mockery of your uh, detachment by striking a second time. You are commended on your endeavours into the inner workings of machines and the human mind. Respectively now, focus on your building in two-headed empire. We'll add a third head by opening a new hostel in Flutterin. 
as it's currently not much of an empire. If I had been given £10,000 without 100 kudosh and we were unlocked Fluttering, Cardiology and Deluxe 2, I think, again, as with the last hospital, I really want to try and get three stars in each hospital before Attention. moving on. Attention, please possible. urinate accurately. Now, I reckon this is looking pretty good hospital so far. Our doctor wants to do 90 days, so Ruby wants to go for 90 days without a death. Well, given our track record, I'm not sure if that's going to be achievable, but I don't think there's any downside if we accept it and don't achieve it. So I think we should accept it. And we managed to cure three out of four. Okay, that's not too bad. We had some rewards. Okay, let's pause it there. So far, I think this is on its way to an amazing looking hospital. We've already got two GPs, which are handling the queues quite lovely. Um, we're going to need another janitor, I think, at some point, because those plants are looking not too good. Our ward's looking fine. We've got enough room over there. Basically, we're not having any cures, any queues, sorry. So we're pretty good. So our next challenge on our next video will be to look again to a two-star hospital. So that will be, we need to get the hospital attractive level up to eight. We need to own one more building and upgrade two machines. Well, we're already halfway one, round one. So that should be a pretty quick one to finish on. Anyway, guys, that's it for today's video. Thank you very much for joining. Please remember to like and subscribe to my channel for more Two Point Hospital. And I will see you next time.